couple other things with the um, educator effectiveness. Um, on Monday, about 15 administrators and teachers went to the SLO uh, student learning objective training that was held um, at the high school with area administrators and teachers. So there was a variety of about 10 teachers and five administrators, I believe, from our district, as well as all of the principals went to the Big Three conference, which uh, the Big Three is Smarter Balance, Common Core, and um, Educator Effectiveness. So we're doing that together and following up with some webinars and things together as a team, so that's very nice. Um, I want to just really highlight that in this whole Educator Effectiveness piece, Brian Shu and Brad Singer really have gone out around to all of the buildings and taken the lead on First of all, explaining what is educator effectiveness and how is the support to them, to teachers, so teacher to teacher talk. And then on October 4th, they went around building to building and explained what is a student learning objective, how do you write one, how do you write a SMART goal, what do you need to think about so that you can improve your, um, your instruction. So I really applaud the two of them are really taking the lead on that, and that's pretty exciting. And then as far as uh, the Smarter Balance, um, grade level meetings um, lately, we uh, have been working today, I met with the second grade teachers in the morning and the third grade teachers in the afternoon. Um, we spent more time in the afternoon as third grade teachers uh, reviewing and talking about common assessments um, and what is the Smarter Balance assessment expecting our third, fourth, fifth grade students to be able to do technology-wise was the discussion as it began, and then academically and we spent quite a bit of time on that. So bits and pieces of um, talking about that, and many of the teachers have gone online to take the Smarter Balance assessment themselves to see what kind of uh, test items will be on the test in the future for the students. Anything else? Questions? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. to the student calendar. We had an area superintendents, excuse me, area uh, administrative meeting um, earlier this month, and uh, the high school drafted their uh, calendar for 14 and 15, and then based off of what they um, drafted and what we talked about last school year, as far as the holiday break in December, um, I drafted up the, the calendar for 14 and 15 to be very similar to this year's. So basically, it's a pretty much a, a template or a, a cookie cutter copy of what this year's calendar is, but just rolling in ahead of year. I can tell you we're already getting phone calls, at least at district office, as far as um, you know what, what days in October are the kids going to be off, when the spring break, that type of stuff already. And we're you know, a year, year and a half away from that. So the goal or the agreement that we had the, the area admin meeting was to bring it to our, our committees um, and, and have it approved no later than our December board meeting. So I want to get this in your hands now. For, for, uh, for a look and, and any discussion. Okay. I see that uh, we were concerned about having uh, so many days in December, and it's hard to break it up. We reduced it a little bit by going until the 23rd, and uh, I think that was Dan's biggest concern, as well as the, uh, some of the early release, which seemed to be limited use now. Comments? I learned that the NA staff has um, family feedback regarding the shortened um, winter break. The, we didn't do any polling um, in our district. I can tell you in the other districts, the feedback was is to actually um, have school up until December 23rd. And we were actually surprised by that as a group of uh, administrators. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the family input that the other districts had was was to go to school through the 23rd. Okay. Well, I would just be curious. Right. I'm not quite sure what you mean by short. Well, in that um, in the past, I think sometimes there are like the 22nd and 23rd would be days off. Depends on running really the school I mean, a year on calendar year. Right. We've had ones that were a year and a week and a half, and we've had ones that were two weeks. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. For the I think, it, you know, in general, I don't think it's a, um, it's a bad calendar. I think the calendar is fine. Uh, I've never used uh, early release days. 
I'd like to see it reduced more, but as I said, right now I don't see an issue with it. I would still say, you know, the problem I see is, is we haven't adjusted the actual time in front of students ever. So I know nobody likes to talk about it, but right now we're at the state minimum of 180 days. I sure would like to see us at 181 days. Other districts are up at 190 days. Uh, but I guess I'm a lone voice on that, but I'd like to see more time in front of the students. We say how our education system in our country is lacking compared to China or Europe or wherever, but yet we're still at the minimum, you know. So, but I think the calendar is fine the way it is right now. Not really. It's more of what you do in front of students that they say you have in other places you have. And I think we're. Well, I think that's a longer term discussion. Yeah. I think you know, it's good. You see any particular conflicts with the high school? No. We, we work closely. Um, and as long as we keep our log breaks the same, um, there shouldn't be any. I mean, the high school, for example, might have an early release date in September because they have a community day or parents day on one of those Fridays. We're not going to take an early release day that day. We're yeah. going to we'll take it in October. It looks like Easter falls five. Yeah. In 15th or so. Yes. Do you need this to be an action item? If you're ready, that'd be terrific. Yeah. I appreciate that. Health, medical, emergency, mm -hmm. annual updates. Nurse uh, Shealy um, forwarded, um, what was it, three or four updates for the the medical emergency binder or handbook um, and the delay this year was it's just see she has to send it to a, a certified physician um, so getting it back from the, the medical uh, community with, with approval and stuff so basically the, the three items that she had listed um, I had four to two ahead of time all related to containment or treatment in place and uh, it, I don't know if you remember or not last year we updated our place policy there's just been a lot of focus on that so um, some information on what you will need to act on as a full board is just an adjustment piece. Put it on there. Okay. Well, in case you're meetings. What that means is uh, Paul has work commitments on Monday nights. Um, and uh, I realize that it's on all three the committee agendas because Paul's <laughs> either the chair or the, the second on, on the three committees tonight. So um, I'm hoping that there might be a willingness or a openness to rescheduling the committee meetings uh, to Tuesdays or, or something that so Paul can get to those, those committee meetings. I don't know. It's, it's uh, November or December, so it's two, two paid meetings. Okay. Mm -hmm. exactly you will be able to make the Monday board meeting? I will. Well, I'm, I'm making the, this next Monday board meeting. I'll have to see about the next one for the future ones. Great. Um, Tuesdays, it is. I mean, normal time of the month, just on Tuesday. Right. November 5, our board meeting, November 18. Right. Um, remember, we have a special board meeting on November, uh, in November, early in the month, because, uh, yeah, November 5, we have to certify the lobby that night because it's got to be certified by November 6th, so. Uh, yeah. Great. You want to set these number two while you're at the Tuesday? I say that because I can't make the 10th, which is a Tuesday. So we're, we're scheduling the board meeting on December 16th, and we have our committee meeting on Tuesday the 3rd. Some of the financial stuff from the November might be a little bit sketchy, but I just want to portion out that. But yes, we have three meetings, I think. That's great. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the board members. All the fellow board members. And with that, I turn